All right, so we got our drill. We got our instructions. We got our pencil. Let's see what the heck we need to do here. So I've already thrown it up there, and I'm, man, I'm pretty pleased with the with the way it looks. Yeah. Just making sure this is centered. I think I need a tape measure. I'm pretty anal. So I'm gonna grab a tape measure and make sure this thing's on center. Now we're gonna need the little up. I wanna make sure, I'm, I'm not sure if it's gonna read level, but it might, so we'll see, let's try. Kind of a pain already. Okay, so those scribes worth a hoot and a nanny, and I need to get a marker. All right, I got a marker now. The pencil didn't work, so note to self. May want to use a marker instead of wasting time with a pencil. We got all that scribed out. Man, this mount's really heavy. Kind of slides around a little bit. And um, it's just not as easy as I thought it was going to be. Which I didn't think it was going to be very easy, but. Good gosh. Maybe it's the heat in this garage. <clears throat> Time to get the drill. Probably the one bit I don't have. Oh my luck. Quarter inch, what do you know? Really nervous about doing this. I don't know why. Anytime you drill on the boat, they were good. So, what I'm doing from what I read is whenever you're drilling into fiberglass, and since this is a fiberglass console, um, actually, it appears to be wood with like a fiberglass coating, but Whenever you drill through fiberglass, start in reverse till you get through the fiberglass. And then you can go forward. So that's what I'm doing. Well, I'll tell you what, this is uh, definitely a little bit diff more difficult than I anticipated. But it's looking good. What a mess. still see my gas and my uh, trim, which is kind of all I cared about. Alright. Let's make our uh, last two holes and then we can get to get to mountain. We have officially drilled all our holes. That was a pain in the butt. Kind of nerve wracking. Wanted to make sure this thing was going to be level on center. So, and I'm pretty anal, man. I mean, I'm, I can notice when stuff's off center. It bothers me. So, I wanted to be uh, double shore, triple shore. I think I got it where it needs to be. I'm going to clean this off. Made a mess. I got fire glass. Chippings everywhere. The only thing I don't have is the inch and a quarter um, hole saw bit. I don't have a hole saw bit. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that yet.
looking fantastic. Let's see, I'm missing some screws. Excuse me. I mean, unless I misplaced them, which I don't think I did, it's definitely possible. I'm gonna look. I think I'm missing a couple screws and, and uh, washers, which is not cool. I mean, that stuff pisses me off. I am very disappointed to say that they left out two screws and uh, one locking nut. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, and there's only six washers. But there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see. What do the instructions say? Well, because I don't have all the washers, I'm going to, or all the screws and nuts, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of throw this thing together. And I'll have to go to Lowe's tomorrow and get what I need, man. That's kind of frustrating. I'll definitely uh, let them know. You know, that's, you pay that much money for something and you don't even get the proper, you know, fastening screws and nuts and stuff. It's, that sucks, man. I'm a little disappointed. I wanted to get this done tonight, but whatever. It's not gonna happen. So here's the deal. We got stopped short yesterday because we ran out of screws. Or they didn't supply enough screws with us, so I had to make a trip to the hardware store and get what we needed. But uh, nonetheless, we got screws. We got the uh, inch and a quarter hole saw. We got our holes dug here for the power and uh, sonar cables to come through. And we're getting this thing mounted up. So here in just a few minutes, we'll get these nuts tightened up and um, get the mounting on the graphs. So y'all stay tuned. This, uh, Mounting these lock nuts on here is a pain in the butt. It's real tight under here, and I actually did kind of a mistake. So I've mounted this, uh, but I think it's going to work. I mounted this mount too high because I was trying to avoid covering up the gauges. And these top three screws, the way the console contours down, I almost couldn't even get washers and nuts on them. So I had a little freak out moment there for a second, but. I think it's gonna be okay. I hope so. It's a pain in the butt though. Guys, we got several hours into this project. Off and on, my kids terrorizing me. But, uh, we're getting real close. Fastening these uh, gimbal brackets and won't be too much longer. Finally got it all mounted up, man. It's all strong as can be. Got our holes, everything's nice and tight, buttoned up. It's looking good, man. Like I said, it hasn't been easy, but uh, it's been frustrating. Uh, but we're about to put these graphs on here, so it's time. It's time to do it. There's the Elite Ti right there, nine-inch graph. one one man is looking good looking good I'm getting excited now I knew this was gonna be a project but good god all the last night all this morning more than I expected
Boys, that's it right there. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, that's beautiful. Look at that, that's freaking sweet. I got some fine tuning to do. I got these little rubber grommets to snug up against the back of the units. Make sure the angle's all good and all that, but I'll tell you right now, I love it. That's, uh, that's sweet right there. Look at that. <laughs> Guys, finishing touch right here. We're going to get this crew piece on. And we'll be all set. Still got to run the transducer cables. Haven't done that yet on the back of the boat. But, uh,. Interesting, only one unit's coming on right now. Oh, there's power to the other one. Guys, we got these two graphs all mounted up, man. I'm loving it. I couldn't be more happier. I think it was well worth it. Took forever to get these things mounted, but uh, look at this, man. This is freaking sweet. This is what it was all about. So, two nine inch displays, Bass Boat Technologies mount, beautiful, sturdy, and this thing's solid. I'm pumped. This is gorgeous. That's it, man. Woohoo!